everybody, Jess here, Key Tara, welcome to you all. Uh, this is a real quick general reading. I don't know if, who it's for or what it will be about. Um, let's just say a blessing and we'll find out if it's your story today, all right? Holy Spirit, thank you for being with us here today and in every single breath that we take. We ask that these messages be received by those who are meant to hear them. Amen. All righty, I am going to start with this traditional deck over here. joking I have temperance on its side okay backwards on the bottom um temperance is the card of Sagittarius um but it, it can be about restoring balance in your life it can be about um for me personally as a reader it it usually indicates especially when it comes on its side like this, it indicates needing to make some changes in your life that are gonna bring more peace, more balance into your life. It can be about um, new habits and new routines, new mindsets. It can be about the relationships that you engage in in your life. Um, I, I feel like when it's on its side right here, someone is just about, well, first of all, for me as a reader, when cards come out on their sides, this tells me there's an energy of change it's about to occur. Either we're going to flip it into the upright or it's going to be flipped into the reverse. Let's see. Yeah, I kept looking at this three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck and now we have this eight of pentacles coming out here on its side and I've got the strength card here. I've got the Leo energy here. Interesting. Ooh, somebody does need to make a change in their life and I feel like it's it may be related to your work. Um, with this Eight of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, they're both kind of workplace dynamics. The Three of Pentacles is working on a really functional team. The Eight of Pentacles is pouring your heart and soul into what it is that you do. Now, the Eight of Pentacles comes out here on its side, which tells me that you may not have really had your head in this game for a while. You may be kind of split. Your focus may be a little bit split here. Somebody here is gonna have a moment of clarity where they're able to express the way that they feel and the things that they've been thinking for a while with this Ace of Swords. And this six of swords can be about relocation it can be about moving on it can be about getting yourself from a situation that wasn't so great into a situation that's much better for you i have the strength card out here that's leo energy so it feels like this may be happening for some of you during leo season um it's also something that you're gonna have to muster up some courage to deal with and i have the fool card on the um tail end of the table over here um, a lot of yellow in these cards that's a lot of happiness that's a lot of healing that comes with that it's yellow is associated with your um, solar plexus chakra um, it's about having the confidence here to follow your dreams um, let me dig into this a little bit deeper because this fool energy is the number zero, right? It's the very first card we have in the major arcana of tarot. I'm sorry it's so loud outside my window. I left my window open a crack and uh, the kids are all outside playing and eating popsicles. And like there's a lot of them out there. It's really cute. And it sounds like we have somebody like with a loud engine out there too. A um, little bit distracting. Um, this fool energy though is, it's a brand new beginning in someone's life. And I feel like you, whoever you are that I'm reading for here, I feel like you're about to make a choice that sends your life headed in a whole new direction. But I don't think you entirely know it. I think you're just kind of being given nudges to make a change in your life, make a change to what it is that you're doing. Now, I can see that where you're at, you've been working on like a really good, solid team. I feel like whatever you bring to the mix is like very positive. I'm going to get another deck because I don't know really why you're wanting to make this change, but there is something here that is related to, um, be, I'm hearing being spread too thin. Um, I've got this judgment card here and this eight of cups. The judgment card can be like a wake up call. It's a moment of realization. And we kind of have that with, I was saying, with that Ace of Swords where somebody finally has some clarity as to what they need to do. And I have this Eight of Cups here. The Eight of Cups is about walking away from something that isn't working for you anymore.
I have the High Priestess here. Wow. Whoever you are, um, I'm hearing day job. Um, whoever you are, you may be very psychically intuitive. You may be very uh, much, you have very healing presence to you. People come to you for advice. You could be a bartender. You could be a nurse. I, I had just been listening to somebody say, my feet hurt. Your feet might hurt. You may be on your feet all day with whatever it is you do, but it's like your true nature always comes out in any environment that you're in. You're someone that other people come to for advice um, with the really tough stuff. You see a lot of people upset. You see a lot of people through difficult times. Um, you have a lot of conversations with people. There's a real inner knowing to you. We have this Ace of Cups here. And the Ace of Wands. What? And the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so I have the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. The only one we're missing here, which is really the most important one, is the Ace of Pentacles, right? That's the one where we make a solid investment in ourselves. But this Ace of Cups is pretty telling here. The Ace of Cups, I always think of as, yes, it can be about a new love relationship coming towards you, but we can't have the new love relationship until you begin to um, vibrate at your authentic frequency so that you can attract the, the, the perfect person to yourself, right? And I feel like I'm reading for someone who is about to experience that. Some of you, this, whatever it is you do for a living, it feels like you like the people that you work with an awful lot. It really does. But it feels like you may be burning the candle at both ends or like I was saying you may be on your feet all the time or this could be taking you away from what your true gifts are to give to the world. Um, and it feels like you've been kind of low on energy for it for a while. This Ace of Wands is someone who is going to have a real like surge of energy coming into their system, probably around the end of the summer season, probably around that Leo season. And that's when everything starts to change and change very rapidly, which is that um, Wheel of Fortune energy here, which incidentally is also Sagittarius energy. So far, you've got Sag, Sag, Pisces, Leo. Okay. I feel like this is the three of wands. You've kind of been manifesting this future for yourself for a while. Um, you may have already started the process of, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure exactly what you do here, but like, like beyond your day job. Yes, I get it. You're on your feet a lot and they hurt for some of you. Um, but whatever it is you do, what else you do, that's like your true passion it feels like it has something to do with spiritual gifts for you. And I have this Queen of Swords energy out here where you're going to have to be really honest and it may not be the most popular opinion. I was seeing that Five of Swords a minute ago. Um, yeah, there it is on the bottom of the deck. Um, and the Five of Swords can be worry about what other people are going to say. It can be someone who doesn't want to make the, right, the wrong choice, for sure, um, especially in a spread like this. It can kind of indicate someone who doesn't want to make a dumb choice. I get that. But you've been balancing everything for a while, and you've been waiting on the right time to do this. Um, I feel like there's an opportunity that's going to come towards you for you to um, start focusing more on this, whatever it is you're meant to be doing. And in order to give that the amount of time and energy that it needs to really take off, you're going to have to be brave and really focus your energy on it. It's, I feel like a lot of you, you may start this process in Leo season, but you may not really begin to reap the rewards of this until um, Libra season. I have that justice card in here. I'm just going to stick it back in there. Um, yeah. Um, I have the six of wands here. It comes out on its side. Yeah, I was telling you before, I feel like I'm reading for someone who really works well with the people that they are involved with here. Whatever team you're on, whatever structure you've created or built, um, you work very well with these people. Now, I'll tell you, whoever you are, you don't get a lot of recognition or acknowledgement for what you do. Um, 
And usually the Six of Wands is about recognition and acknowledgement, but it came out on its side. And there's somebody, it's kind of like you're not the most important person in this equation or something. I don't know how to say that. Um, but you, you do a lot behind the scenes maybe, and you, you aren't always recognized for the things that you do, but you, you love the environment. You love the people. Okay. I feel like you're kind of a giver. I feel like you give a lot of love to a lot of people. Yeah, I do. I don't know why I have this Knight of Cups out here. And I have this Ace of Cups here too. I'm gonna ask in a minute. Nine of Pentacles, somehow, yeah, yeah, yeah. This decision with this Two of Swords, um, and I've got the Death card under here too. This is you deciding to make a final choice of letting go of whatever this is. Um, be, and the Death can the death card can be um, really scary. It can indicate a, an actual death in your life. It can also indicate um, uh, like just a, tra a change or a transition that forces you to let go of things that were kind of like a security blanket for you for a long time. Um, but the key word in this specific reading is transformation because the cards surrounding it are so positive. Um, it's like it's time for you to kind of start focus, kind of start doing you. Some of you may have wanted to start a business of your own for a long time. And some of you have been putting it off because you feel like you need to stay where you are because of the community that you've created within this other workplace. Now I have the nine of pentacles here. That is the minor arcana of the empress. That is someone who owns their own business. That's, I just saw 12, 12 on the counter. That's someone who's very single, very independent, also lacking in codependency. You may have some, I don't have the devil card out here, but there may be a little bit of codependency here. Like I was saying, security blanket energy with this place that you've kind of um, attached yourself to here. It's all right. There's actually a lot of stress related to this place for you. Um, you may worry about it when you get home from work. You may have to bring your work home with you. Um, someone is just, there's. it's like worry, 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 worry. I was seeing this card in my head a minute ago when we were talking about someone who's overworking, someone um, who was kind of burning the candle at both ends. With that Seven of Cups in the reverse, um, this is someone who may be noticing... They, you may be working with one person in, in particular who's very emotional a lot and you feel like you are responsible for like doing a lot for them or something. Um, the Seven of Cups in the reverse though tells me like you, you're kind of spent, you're kind of spread too thin. It's been hard for you to juggle whatever this place is with your own personal life and I feel like your personal dreams have kind of been shunted to the side. Oh, I have the star card out there. That's Aquarius energy. That is someone who, um, yep, yeah, and there's the three of um, cups under that, which it's, it's this, and there's this knight of swords here too, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So the star card can be associated with those unique spiritual blessings and gifts. Um, some of you may carry an energy of um, fame or being of no or notoriety for whatever it is you do. The star card can indicate like artistic talents, something that you just have a real gift for. And it's 
you know, this is heavy handed to say, but I often say that if, if God gives you a gift, it's, it's not so you can just sit in the basement and like think about it. <laughs> You're actually supposed to do something with that. It's kind of a responsibility that you have to yourself and to the world to share that gift with others. Uh, otherwise, what's the point of giving it to you in the first place? This Three of Cups is having something to celebrate. It's coming together with friends and family to celebrate some kind of an accomplishment, achievement, a happy moment, a happy day. It can also be reconciliation energy, reunion energy. I kind of want to dig into who this Knight of Cups is here for you. Um, tell me, I don't know if I want to switch decks. I'm going to just keep on with this deck, I think. Tell me what this Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups is about here. The Page of Cups. I wonder if someone's going to give you an opportunity or an offer of that gives you an option, like an offer that allows you to make this choice for yourself. I don't know what that would be or how that would go, but it comes from a place of love. Um, this could be a friend of yours that says, hey, you know, I've been noticing, you know, you were, you said you were going to write that book. And I think that that's such a great idea. And I noticed that you don't really have time to write that book. Would you like to stay at my guest cottage or something while you write it and take some time off or something like that? I don't know. This is a scenario that popped into my head. Um, it comes from a place of love, though. And this could be a romantic partner as well who is suggesting like, you know, we can make it on one income for a while. If you want to quit your day job and focus on starting this new business for yourself, I'm happy to support you. Something like that. It feels like, um, tell me more, because I'm not seeing a lot of financials here. Hmm. Yeah, there's the devil card. Hmm. Yeah, this place that you're in currently, it's like you love it so much, but somebody there is not always that nice to you or something. There's the tower. Mm, that's scorpionic energy, that tower. That devil is Capricorn energy. Um, I don't know. It's like somebody refuses to recognize how much you have given to this place. Maybe you asked them for a raise and it never happened. But you have such like a... I mean, quite honestly, I'm seeing someone that waffles between between being like very loving and very kind and almost edging towards doormat status. Some of you may be getting married this year and that is going to take some, I don't know, there's like an energy of partnership that comes in here for you which is good because it's kind of like you've been pushing something up a hill for a long time by yourself. Yeah, there's the Hierophant. So I had the 10 of cups out here a minute ago. I just left it in there. Um, and I also have this Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. It's marriage energy, commitment, contracts. Um, someone may offer you a contract to do what it is you love to do and you're able to cut ties with this situation over here. I do see that you will be. I do. Um, and quite honestly, I think if we're being very, very honest with our spouse, this situation has been a little bit more abusive to you than you would like to even admit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Um, and I don't mean like someone's just berating you all day or anything, but it feels like someone has truly been using your energy and you have such good energy, whoever you are. I mean, who wouldn't want to, but you may have transformed someone else's business into something amazing for them. You may have helped hundreds of people, thousands of people just by being yourself who you are, but it feels like you weren't getting a real return on this investment like like you were saying here your feet hurt I don't know and I'm not seeing a lot of money 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 here it's maybe it's not so much abusive as being taken for granted 
That's not cool, man. Okay, well, regardless, I feel like you make a choice. Tell me about this Ace of Swords real quick, like. The reason you haven't made this decision previously is because you're afraid of what's on the other end of it. If I quit this, what if that? This is why I don't have any money on here, outside of these two work cards here. Um, is because you haven't committed to yourself yet. Some At some point here, you commit to yourself. It looks like it happens towards the end of the summer season, and that's when everything starts to click into place. Next fall is going to be very exciting. Next fall, next winter is going to be very exciting for you, whoever you are. I'm excited. I want to see what you end up doing. I want to know if you end up doing something that's very cool. I don't know what it is that you do, um, but I do know that you have a very... Um, very psychic or a very healing presence. Six of Swords again. Yeah, and there's your Ten of Pentacles. That's exactly what I want to see. And that has everything to do with this, whoever this partner is that's coming in here for you. You guys could be buying a new home together. Some of you may be getting married. Um, some of you, this, so I've got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Cups here. Very nice. Um, this person hasn't told you how they fully feel about you yet. Um, they've kind of been waiting on you to make this decision here because something about this place that you've invested so much of yourself in keeps you from this other person and they know it. And I don't think they're mean about it. I don't think that they have like a lot of jealousy in them about it, at least not that they've told you. Um, but they can, they're seeing that this, we could be together a lot more if you didn't have to work at that place. Maybe you have a long commute or something. This Six of Swords, though, you have felt like you couldn't leave this place. And that's changing. Something is changing here. You've got the Judgment card out there again with the Chariot card. Nicely done. The Six of Swords is the minor arcana of the Chariot for me as a reader. And uh, it seems like it's time. If that wake up call has happened, if it hasn't happened yet, it's going to be happening like within the next month. That's what's allowing you to move on. And once you do, there's the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, I love you guys. And the Fool card right underneath it. Very, very good. Um, I think you are going to miss a lot of the people that you work with. But I think that there is, as you can see, you're not going to have to regret for too long because right around the corner, sneaking up on our little mock turtle is that Ace of Cups that we already talked about here. There's some kind of new option that comes here for you, but you got to make this decision and it's going to be hard for you to do it. It's hard to cut those ties like with that Five of Swords, right? It really is, um, but it kind of feels like it's necessary. It feels like it's time. All right, that was your reading for today. I got to go check out on all those kids out there with popsicles and see how they're doing. I hope everything's okay. All right, love you guys. Mwah. See ya.